Hello guys and welcome to a vlog. It's, I couldn't find my eyebrow then, I was just trying to itch, nearly scratch my own eyeball. It's um, Monday, the time is seven o'clock. That's upsetting, for some reason I was looking at the phone I thought it was going to say it's five, but it's seven. Um, I've had quite a busy day, which actually, that was a lie, I haven't. I've been out and about a lot, which is why I feel like I'm busy, but it's not been stressful at all, which busy would suggest. What I've done today is, well, the main thing I've done is I went for a facial, which is why I'm not qualified to say I've had a busy and stressful day. I um, went to Skinworks at Alex Eagle, Alex Eagle, which is where I always go. I don't do it that regularly, maybe like two or three times a year. Um, but they're so, so, so good. I have only got the tiniest bit of concealer on some spots here. Um, and it just, they're really, I really recommend them if you've got sensitive skin, but you also want to go get a facial that works. I can't have facials that are all like, even the relaxing ones with all the products that are really fragrance and everything just makes my skin go mad. Whereas, um, Skinworks is so good because it's, it's very like chemical based and really does the job but i don't have any issues with my skin as you can see if i was having some sort of reaction it would still be going on now and my skin is so sensitive um so it's just brilliant so i just went for their signature facial and appeal um and yeah they're, they're just so good i really recommend it i get it as a press thing so i get it give for free but i would be a paying customer as well they're so good and i also always buy the products that they sell there which is by a brand called pca which is really good. Um, and then I went to Muji because I really needed to go get some new trainers after I stood in the cow shit up north. I also bought some different trainers yesterday, which I'm gonna show you guys. Um, and yeah, I've just been trying to organize bits and bobs, um, uh, which I have been doing quite successfully. Um, and uh, before I do show you anything though, I'm gonna just put my dinner on. I'm gonna make myself like a chicken and chutzo -y, sweet potato -y, easy peasy thing. Um, and then show you the really boring but really interesting at the same time things that I got from Muji and my new trainers and also think about what else we might need to catch up on, which probably isn't that much at the moment. It's really, really gone autumnal over the past couple of days. Like the temperatures, sorry, the temperatures really dropped. Um, it's just a butter dish, if you must know that I sit you on here. Oh, I need to turn it around one minute. Um, yeah, the temperature's really, really dropped. Um, and it's been like jumper coat weather. Um, I really enjoyed that video I did last week and you guys really enjoyed it too, where I wore a different outfit every single day. <laughs> Although it helped me last week, I felt more like inspired with things. This week I'm back to knowing, not knowing how to get myself dressed at all. So like anything in my wardrobe, everything I put on, I'm like, this isn't me. Who is me? Who am I? What do I wear? What do I like? What don't I like? Do you ever just, it feels like I'm having an identity crisis basically and I don't know I don't know what to do with it's all fashion based so thankfully it's not a serious identity crisis but I literally I'm just I just can't get dressed it's so bizarre nothing feels quite right I'm so bored of all the usual combinations which is why I did that video like I said um but then anything new I put on I'm like I can't wear this I look like an idiot so we're gonna have to work through that probably as a bit of a tea it's one of those things. Uh, maybe the changing weather has something to do with it. Normally I'd find that quite inspiring of like, oh, you know, bring out all the old winter bits, but not how looking that way this time for me. Okay, while well, that's cooking, new mood trainers here. And these are the fancier ones that I got. I've got a bit of grass on the side because I was just in the park this afternoon. Um, they're the night kill shot mesh ones um they fit true to size i got them at sneakers and stuff in shoreditch um, i'm actually pleased they've got a bit of a um mark on them because i don't know about you guys <laughs> i've said this so many times before i think but new trainers like this when they're this white I, I just don't like them i love it when they look a bit battered and worn in and like i don't know they just look 
I don't know I just like it so much more which maybe is a bit strange so I've been wearing them it feel like I've got beacons of light on my feet because they're so clean um they rubbed the back of my heel a little bit yesterday but today hasn't been as bad just because this comes up quite high um but I'm really chuffed with them I'll link them in the description box I also had a sort out of the knicker drawer knicker and sock drawer with all my Muji divider things um, and bought lots of new socks as you can see I don't know about you guys but with things like socks and knickers I'll be fine for ages and think everything's fine and then one day it's like they all just go past it at the same time and they're all like got holes in or too dirty or just grim and the elastic's gone whatever but it all seems to happen at once and then suddenly I'm like I need to throw out every sock and get new ones I didn't throw out every sock but got through a lot of socks mostly white ones which were all like just a bit horrible and lots had holes in them so then went to Muji to get some more so that makes me feel better and like more of a responsible grown-up lady um so yes that was the Muji trip and some other bits got some more candles and things um and now I am gonna do a bit of work while I wait for my dinner to cook and then probably eat my dinner in front of Buffy Vampire Slayer and then have a bath and come and talk to you guys about books. Good morning guys, it's um, Tuesday morning. Oh. I'm off to Ikea this morning with Simon. He's just moved house and needs some bits from Ikea so I volunteered as driver. I need an extension cable and that is it. Um, but this is the outfit I'm wearing. I have it on an old uh, cashmere cardigan from Jigsaw. It's crazy light. <laughs> My Prada belt and these jeans are from Martine Rose, also a couple of years old. They're so good. So, so good. I always kind of forget I have them, which is really bad because they're so good. I'm in very clean, which obviously I'm not loving. Muji, new Muji trainers. Um, yeah, I like this outfit. Quite comfy for just a morning schlepping around IKEA. Um, we'll definitely get a hot dog or some meatballs though, definitely. God. Good morning guys. Does anyone else wake up with the puffiest face ever? Even when I've slept well, I just have the puffiest face all the time. Just making a tea. This vlog is going up today. So we're vlogging today until I finish this vlog. Um, I've not got much on except bits of work work things as the day goes on. Um, I might head out and work in a coffee shop for a bit this morning or something, I'm not sure. See where the moment takes us. Um, first I'll drink my tea, reply to some emails and let my face de-puff. Why am I so puffy? I like this every morning. Um, I had a curry last night, there's bits of rice on the table. That's nice. I've got something really disappointing to show you guys as well, actually. But first, let me come back to you when we're not quite looking like this. Hello guys. God, I have not stopped since I last um, vlogged. So many parcels arrived. I ordered loads of things off John Lewis. Not exciting things, except for one thing that is, is exciting, which is a new kettle. You know, just, I almost don't recommend going and looking inside your kettle if you've had it for a few years. Because I did it the other day and thought, oh my god, this is past descaling stage. So I ordered myself a new one. Um, it's a Bosch one. And it has different temperature settings. And I believe if you have different types of tea and coffee, you're meant to have things at different temperatures. Um, and I just used it to make coffee and it boils unbelievably quickly. Aside from that, everything else was boring, like a chopping board some new towels you know what i was saying to you the other day about how i felt like all my underwear and socks have gotten to the point where it's ugh. it's like my life has done that so the kettle did it loads of my towels i was just like i think i've had these for about four years and they've all like got threads coming off them and just ugh. so 
Um, I didn't want to spend loads of money at once. I spent like 200 quid on John Lewis. And I'm going to slowly replace the rest of the towels and things. I couldn't bear to do all of them. Um, so yeah, I've literally been running around like a blue ass fly. Pushing down boxes. I couldn't actually tell you what I've done. I don't know how where the time's gone. But the thing I want to talk to you about was... I'm really disappointed about this. These cos sandals that they were in my last video. Um, the, I wasn't gifted these or anything. You, um, I'm a big fan of the brand. Anyway, I've probably worn them three or four times maybe. Nipped out to the shops in them last night. Look at this. I mean, that is hanging on by a thread. The definition of hanging on by a thread. There you go, you can see better there. Literally, nothing. Just walking and the whole thing came out. So I'm going to go back to, I think I've got the receipt somewhere, um, but I'm going to go back to COS today and just be like, hang on a minute. So, so, so disappointing. Um, yeah, really, really not impressed with that. Won't put me off the brand for everything, but it will put me off them for shoes, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's just not acceptable, that is it? They were still like 90 quid. Yeah, it's a high street brand, but that's not cheap a lot of money it's still like the kind of money you'd spend on your summer sandals for the season and you don't want them doing that oh, the motherfucking spot on my chin it's so sore so i need to nip to the nip to cars to return those um and i also need to go i need to take something to the tailors some trousers to the tailors to get them taken in um, but that's pretty much it, apart from working and pottering about. Um, but we'll nip out with you. I need to get some more flowers. I've been avoiding the flower market because it's really bloody busy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live really close to Columbia Road Flower Market. And if you're not from London, it's quite a famous flower market that happens every Sunday. Um, but it's just rammed. So I've really not been enjoying going. So I've just been getting my flowers from the supermarket and I had some, just some gladioli and a friend came around the other day and she was like, those flowers are lovely. I was like, I got them from Tesco. She was like, you live so close to the flower market that I know I maybe shouldn't be buying flowers from Tesco, but I can't face the busyness of, of it. It still doesn't feel quite right to be in crowds like that. Um, I don't know how you guys are all feeling about the world and coronavirus. Sometimes I can't get my head around how how much life has changed this year, like how intensely it changed through lockdown, how normal things feel now in lots of ways. Um, but yet, the, you know, the virus is still the same, as in the threat's the same, the threat on our lives is the same, the threat on our loved ones is the same. Yes, it's not as widespread because the numbers are lower, but you know, it's still there. And it boggles my mind, the whole thing sometimes. Like, when you walk around busy places in London, you just think, oh God, it feels so normal. And, Oh, just trying to cover up this a little bit more. I think it's from that, um, having that facial. So I often find this when I have it. Any like, I've had a spot there for ages that's, um, this is really gross to describe this, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Do you ever get those spots that where, they're not an under the skin red one and it's skin colored, but it's just like a really, really tiny lump. And if you ever try and pick it, it just gets so much worse. So I just leave them and you would never notice them. Sometimes I do get them on my chin more than anywhere. I've not got one at the moment to show you what I mean. But anyway, I had two there, which I've had for so long. And so I think the facial must have penetrated into them and that's now why it's coming out. Um, but it's very sore. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my little dish thing that I got from Muji. Just here to be a bit more tidy and some soap. Oh, the last bit of vlogging I did was in Ikea, wasn't it? I just bought some extension cables and some light bulbs. They are very practical at the moment and not very exciting. Um, oh God, I'm really yapp yamming away, but I'm feeling quite chatty. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm gonna put different shoes on to go out, but I've just got on my vintage Reformation linen trousers, Chanel belt. This t-shirt is from AS Colour. In a, the last vlog that I did, I had on my green Arquette cardigan at the end, and so many of you commented like, oh my god, green is so your colour. So, you said, and I have listened, this is how I'm like, just feeling a bit shit about myself at the moment, if I'm honest. So I read those comments, I was like, I need to go buy some more green, it really suits me. So I got this from AS Colour, which is the um, New Zealand brand. Lots of you corrected me when I said Australian. But the New Zealand brand that um, you had all mentioned, I got the a dark green one, but then I also ordered on Arquette 
um this very green one which is the same shade as the cardigan but i don't know if i dare wear something this green i will have to show you this in the next vlog whenever i try to wear it and um, because i might return it just because it's very green but i like how you all just sort of said this to me in passing and i've gone and bought every green thing that i could possibly find um but yeah i think i'll just put my moody trainers on with this probably and a tote bag and go out and run my errands I said to you I was going to talk to you about books, didn't I? I've still been really slow at reading. Um, oh, we're very dark. There we go. Yeah, still been really, really slow at reading. I just, um, it's not that I don't feel like I've got time for it. I think, I don't know what it is. I just, when it was hot and I was sunbathing, I was reading loads. When like life was normal, I was traveling, I was reading loads, like on planes and on trains and things. Um, and at the moment I just don't seem to have those chunks of time like that and I've been really social recently which is really nice I've really needed that so evenings have been with friends mostly and not on the sofa with a book so it's all fine but I am reading A Thousand Splendid Sons at the moment by Carla Ticini, um, which I'm really 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 enjoying just working my way slowly through it I'm still um, reading Natives by Carla which I've been reading for months and Something that I tried was to make some notes while I was reading a chapter of it because it's non-fiction and then I was thinking maybe I'll try and always read a fiction and non-fiction and for the non-fiction take notes so that you can actually retain more of it. Um, I think it's all well and good of me reading it as fast as I can or as fast as I do when I'm in it but if you don't, with, fic with non-fiction especially, if you don't get to the end of it and retain it, especially with the topic of Black Lives Matter and learning more about racism within the UK, there's no point me sitting and reading something if actually if I'm not retaining it and then it isn't educating me anyway. So I start to make notes with it, which has obviously significantly slowed down my reading pace, but I am still chipping away at it um, and really, really, really enjoying it. I've got so much non-fiction to get through, it's unbelievable, and I'm just gonna try and continue reading in that way. And hopefully, like anything, I'll get quicker at doing it in that way, um, taking notes and things. Um, I don't think it's something that I'd start doing for fiction at all because I don't feel like you need to, in the, or I don't feel like I need to in the same way. I kind of don't read it critically and also you don't need to remember it really as much. Success on the flowers, Sainsbury's going through. I was just walking along listening to Psycho Killer by the Talking Heads. Such a good song to walk to. It makes you really walk to the rhythm. So that was lovely for me. Um, yeah, I'm just around the corner, and it's on Columbia Road now. Um, I probably might actually sign this vlog off here because I'm not sure what else I could have to talk to you about today because I'm just going to be on my laptop and I'm not going out this evening. I started watching The Fall on Netflix, a terrifying thing to choose to do when you live alone, but still, I'm being brave and it's just really good. Gillian Anderson, hold me. She's so attractive. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it, so I'll just watch that tonight and not much else. So there won't be much to share. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm not sure what next week's video will be. Probably a vlog. Um, I will do more of those, what I wore in a week thing. Oh, and also the most thumbs up comment on that video was saying about the ads. So I'm going to watch that and make sure that there's not too many ads because I think it's something YouTube changed the settings of because I've not changed anything that I'm doing differently. Um, so I'll keep, make sure that doesn't happen because no one wants that, it's just shit. Um, so thank you for flagging it with me. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Yeah. Just vlogging on my phone, guys. Um, that return was all sorted really quickly. I asked him as well, because. Before I came out I checked my affiliate links to see if you guys have bought any of them and a few of you have so I asked the guy if he's had many returns um, or if that's the first one that's done that and he said that's the only one that they've had returned so fingers crossed if any of you bought it bought those shoes you won't have the same issue and that mine were an unlucky pair um, but still not great so that's done drop stuff off at the dry cleaners and some things to be altered. So that's done. Um, and now I'm just on my way to take a mirror selfie, which is something I often do when I'm on my own a lot because I don't have someone here to take a photo. So I'm just gonna go do that. Could do picking up some flowers somewhere. 
and then heading back. Very productive. <laughs>